Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike. Let's go out and do some thrifting. All right, first store today, and we're going to be checking out these bags here. Looks like we got ourselves a nice little micro shot in there, a little Fortnite rocket launcher one. That's pretty cool. It's got a big shock in there, and then we got one of these little off-brand style jolts as well. Let's see how much this is. $2.99. Not too bad. You know what? For that micro shot, I'm going to be picking that up. And we're checking out the shelves over here now. And ooh, what do we got here? We got this cool looking chainsaw thing, $4.99. Took a look at it, it ended up being like a Halloween costume type of prop. It was broken, unfortunately, but man, if that thing would have worked, that would have been a really cool thing to use for an integration. Really cool. All right, now checking out some Nerf stuff. We got an old Dart Tag Hyper Fire, and we got a Firefly down here. See how much? $2.99. Man, that's a pretty good deal for that. That's another cool integration style blaster you can use and moving on up here ooh, what is this i have no idea if you know what this thing is leave a comment down below let me see what it is uh, it looks like a something terminator would use I, I mean i don't know it's really cool looking though but yeah i'm, I'm gonna end up leaving that behind didn't know what it was and then we got a strong arm here two bucks eh, it's a pretty good deal and then i made my way over to the puzzles and board games and i saw a nerf logo and i was like what is that 4.99 ended up being Nerf Ping Pong. It's an old uh, table style game that you can put together really easily. It had just about everything in it. It was missing the balls and a uh, something they call a wrist wallet. I don't, I don't know what that was exactly, but yeah, everything else was here. And with the box, pretty good shape. I think it said it was from like 1982 on it. Very, very vintage. So yeah, this thing, uh, I think I might end up getting it, you know, it's pretty dang cool free wrist wallet yeah i don't know what that was exactly but unfortunately that was missing from it but yeah look at this thing very cool very cool find and here's what it looks like put together we got these paddles here nerf logo it's a it's pretty squishy uh kind of like a wiffle ball bat and then we got a uh like a mesh type of thing that you put together pretty easily pretty fast you know you can set it up anywhere play a little bit of ping pong but yeah definitely gonna be grabbing this really cool find All right, second stop, and ooh, we got something I've never seen before. It's an Adventure Force Ballistics Ops Blaster, and I don't know the name of this one, but it's pretty much their version of a Kronos. Interesting find. All right, let's see what else we got over here. Ooh, okay, we got a Vulcan. It's missing just about everything, but $4.99. It's a classic blaster. Go ahead and put that back, though. Let's see what else we got hiding around here. This place has got some stuff, every little cranny and nook. Let's see, we got here a Stockade, $3.99. And moving down here, I see a Rival Blaster. At first, I was hoping it was a Hera. Ended up being a Broken Helios. It's missing the Priming Charger, but hey, it had the two flags on it. Uh, that's an interesting, cool find. Then over here, it looks like we got ourselves a Modulus ECS-10. It's in pretty good shape, not too bad. Oh, just kidding, that thing's been left out in the sun. Uh, let's stick that back up there. And had a strong arm down there, one of the Tommy Blasters, a front piece to a long shot. And up here we had ourselves a Demolisher, $5.99. It's in pretty good shape too. It's missing its stock and like always it's missing the missile. But if the missile was there, I would have grabbed that for sure. And let's see what we got hiding under here. We got ourselves a Cyclone Shock. Let's see how much this bad boy is here. It is $3.99. Go ahead and put that back as well. And we got a Recon. It's mostly there. $3.99. Got a Star Wars blaster. Got another one of those Dark Tag blasters. Some Avenger stuff. And another Star Wars blaster down here, it looks like. Same one is up there. Got it for $2.99. And we had a Hyper Fire here as well. Let's see how much this bad boy is. $4.99. Not too bad of a deal. Putting that back. And uh, up here we had a Dual Strike. Haven't seen one of these in a while. It's a pretty cool blaster. It has both Mega and Elite on it, and you can convert it to hit some pretty high numbers with a brass barrel, so that's a cool blaster. Uh, other than that, we head over here. We got one of these orange and white rough cuts. It was also, it looked like $3.99. Pretty consistent pricing with all the Nerf stuff, so that's cool to always see. And over here, we had an Apollo, also $3.99. 
But yeah, not too much of this store I need, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. Oh boy, this place is nice and tidy. Let's see what we got here. We got one of these AccuStrike blasters. Uh, we got a strong arm. $2.99. We got the old Rapid 20. That thing's a lot of fun. Big air tank. $4.99. Not too bad. Let's see, we got a Maverick. We got a Disruptor. $2.99. And also we got one of those uh, long shot front barrels. This thing, uh, I don't know what it is. I picked it up. I wanted to see what it was, but nothing I was too familiar with. Just went ahead and put that back. And then over here we got one of these drum style blasters. And it's missing the drum like typically it is, so... Not too much on that shelf, but then I turned around and, ooh, I saw something vintage. Here we got the Max Force Mad Hornet 399. This thing's an air power blaster. You pump it up about 20 times, and then you get to just pull the trigger, and it goes pop, pop, pop. No problem. No spring. It's pretty cool. Nice little sidearm. Let's go ahead and test this thing out. I found a little dart hitting on the ground, and I, I picked it up. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to be grabbing this thing. A lot of fun. Very cool find. All right, then heading on to the next shelf. Got no strong arm, $3.99. We got a broken raider here, but it's got its stock on it. $3.99. Looks like it's got some paint splattered on it, too. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that thing. Ooh, okay. And then we got an Overwatch blaster. We got a Diva up here for three ninety nine. dollars I've already got this one, but hey, that's a really cool blaster for a good deal, you know? Somebody stickered it up. Very cool, very cool. I'll go ahead and leave that, though. And another shelf. This place has a lot of stuff in it, so let's take a look at what we got going on over here. We've got another Rapid 20, $5.99. Looks like they had some darts on it, but somebody opened that bag up. And then we got a Maverick. What else we got going on down here? Some type of uh, water blaster, and then... Ooh, we got some kind of old Star Wars one. I, I don't remember the name of this one exactly. If you do, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. But yeah, I tried to look here and see what year it was. I couldn't really figure it out, but yeah, I probably should have picked that one up, but I ended up leaving that one behind. Let's see what we got over here. Got a rocket launcher, $3.99. A couple of barricades in here. Then we got something down here. We got this X-Shot crossbow thing that takes magazines. That one's pretty interesting, but once again, nothing I'm really into, so left that one behind as well. Got some uh, Vulcan parts. We got, uh, oh, this is cool. We got a clear Night Finder, $2.99. Got a Lumatron down there. Another Rapid 20. Three of them in this store. It's pretty crazy. And uh, looks like we got a blue Retaliator hiding down here. Then we got an X-Shot uh, Flip Fury style blaster with a double cylinder. It's pretty cool. Lots of strong arms today. Lots of disruptors. And we had a dark tag blaster as well. And then before I left, I was walking and I saw this. And it's the Connect 4 Blast 599. Brand new. It's a couple of jolts and a couple of darts. And you're supposed to pop out the colors and try and connect four. It's a really hard game to play. Uh, so yeah, I just decided... Eh, it was cool, but nothing I was really needing, so on to the next store. And this store doesn't have too much, so let's see what we got real quick. We got a broken Apollo that somebody jammed the magazine in upside down. That's a new one. I've never seen that before, so that's pretty funny. Then we got a Maverick down here. It is $2.99, different than the typical yellow one you see. And then we have a Raider here with its 35-round drum. If this thing's a good price, I'm going to be picking it up for sure. Let's see. Ooh, uh, $6.99. You know, I've got enough of these drums at that price point. I'm not really needing it, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this behind for somebody else to find. But it's always nice when you see the drum with the Raider. Go ahead and leave that. Let's head on to the next one. Alright, here we are at the next one, and it's a bit messy, so we're going to be doing some digging around. Here we got one of these rocket launchers. It's missing the rocket, but uh, 349 Go ahead and leave that one behind, just like I did at the last store. Ooh, okay, now we got a vintage Super Soaker. One of the ones from the 90s. One of the air power ones. Uh, XP-110, 499 The pressure gauge wasn't working exactly, and uh, I tried pumping it up, and 
there was some kind of leak in it. Otherwise, I would have picked that thing up because I really like those. And moving on, we got a couple more Nerf things. We got a uh, Falcon Fire over here, 249. It's a pretty good price. And then we got a Busby Blaster here, some kind of Max 6. I'm not really familiar, so that was it for that side. And then over here, we had a Ruckus hiding. It was 399. Some definitely different finds that I don't typically see, but still nothing I really need. So I'm gonna leave that behind and move over here. We got the Nerf Dog tennis ball launcher down there, and we had a Chewbacca bow. But that's about it for this store. Let's head on to the last one. All right, last store of the trip today, and looks like we got quite a few things we get to dig through here too. Let's see what we got. Starting down here at the bottom, we got a Hyper Fire. It was $4.99. And below that, we had a Raptor Strike with its magazine. That's always cool to see. But this one was broken. It didn't have the priming charging handle. $5.99. Not too bad. Not too bad. You could always put like a stick in that, I guess. Uh, up here, we had a couple of these Adventure Force Power Balls. Those are pretty good rival blasters. I like those. You can use the official Nerf mags as well and stick them right in if you don't have a hopper. So that's always a cool thing. Um, here's something for $7.99. I'm not too sure what that one is. So leaving that. And then I saw this long shot with a black magazine somebody had painted. It was eight bucks. I was looking down in to see if it was modded further or anything like that, if it was worth that. But just a stock long shot with a painted up magazine. So I left that behind. And we got a Bionicle Sword down there. We got a Darth Maul lightsaber here. I don't know, it's missing the actual blades. And furthermore up here, we got a Boomco Blaster. This one is, uh, let's see how much this is. $5.99. Go ahead and leave that behind as well. A couple more Water Blasters. Typical Mavericks down here. And finally down here, we had one of the original Titans. This thing is a lot of fun. You can mod it up with some PVC to shoot the demolisher rockets. But yeah, $5.99. It's not too bad of a deal. But still, I already got one of those, so we're going to be leaving it behind. And that'll do it for this trip. Went home with a couple of cool things. We got the vintage Nerf ping pong. We got a bag of some jolts and micro shots. And we got that awesome Max Force Mad Hornet. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe if you want. If you want to check out some more of my thrifting adventures, click on that playlist. If you want to see some of my gameplay, go for that one. Thanks again, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.